Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Gibson EH-185. This build is going to be done because of my passion for the guitar playing of Josh Ohami. He's been uh, doing a lot of stuff with different people lately. He did them Crooked Vultures and live he was using the Gibson EH-185. So I really liked the tone and I wanted to build it so I checked it out. So if you look here you'll see that this has some interesting looking tubes. The 6SQ7. There's one here, here, here and a 6N7 here. Now you've probably heard of the 6L6 for the output stage, there's two of those in push-pull here. But ultimately the interesting part is the first two are for the microphone input and then that third one is for the instrument input. Uh, and that's about it. But uh, the, I mean, the only tone control really here is this one right here that's a one meg pot that does uh, a little bit of treble control. So um, the other parts of this that are going to be a bit tricky are the fact that these power transformers aren't really well de defined. You can see this T40069. I found uh, somebody that makes one that would be pretty expensive by Mercury Magnetics, but honestly, I just want to try and get some that will match the voltages. This doesn't show the voltages, but luckily I found another schematic that the forum members pointed to me uh, on you know, el34world.com that explain what the right stuff we need. And, and I'll link in that forum post about it. But ultimately, the only other problem is going to be this speaker field right here. Uh, in the old days, a lot of the amps used to have what would be a speaker cone field coil that helped effectively do a lot of the filtering. Uh, that is not going to be something you can find easily nowadays, so we'll, I've had to replace that as well. Another interesting note, uh, as my cat is trying to help share with us, she agrees. The, uh, if you look here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, these resistors say 100M. They're not actually 100 meg resistors. Back in the day, and these, that used to actually mean 100K. I'm not sure why they did that or changed that, but uh, at any rate, we'll, we'll, we're going to go quickly now to look at the schematic I've revised for this. Here it is, pretty much the same way as you can see, but done in a schematic I can edit and play around with. Um, ultimately, if I make changes or decide to deviate from that schematic design originally, I will try and incorporate those into a final version later. All these will be linked into the video below. So uh, ultimately, uh, very cool amp. The 6SQ7s uh, uh, will hopefully have a very distinct tone to them. The 6N7 uh, phase inverter here uh, will provide uh, you know, the, the splitting the signal to the two halves of the push-pull setup here. And we have a 5U4 rectifier. Now, the one note about this is that this actually is a slightly different version than the one I believe he plays, and I may build that in as well. This is a 1940 model of the amp. The previous version was from about 1938 or 39. It used a different kind of preamp tube, uh, and I'll, if I do that build, I'll go into that. But it, it used a it was a type of little pole on the top of some tubes that you had to connect a separate connector to. And in this case, that tube that's the grid connection. Uh, and so I was a bit uh, nervous of going to something like that I've never done before, and is also not built by anybody nowadays. But I will potentially go to that build at the second stage. But for now, we'll get this guy built and see how it turns out. Final bit of this video really is to go over the layout that I built, uh, and this is a cool, uh, I think, uh, nice simple layout. We've got um, the the series of the tubes up here on the top, our output transformer. Then I've got a simple board layout. It is a very simple amp that shouldn't take a lot of effort, and uh, and then we do our power, you know, input power drops resistors across this. Uh, this is the main power line, but we got a volume and treble, and then your inputs there as well. So. Uh, then on the next uh, page, I just show the kind of power section where we'll have the power coming in, connecting to the different filter capacitors, the, the rectifier, and the main heaters, and the bulb that connects to the system. So as you can see, it's going to be a fairly straightforward amp. I'm pretty excited to make it. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and I'm hoping it will sound pretty amazing. So thanks a lot. Keep, your, uh, keep yourselves posted for the next uh, update of the first parts of that build.